It's going through your mind. What uh, is your evaluation of the game? Below standard. But I uh, feel very sad right now. It was not what we planned for. We scored and then against the run of play we conceded. And um, we tried to change formation. Didn't work. It happened in some of those days. And today is one of those days. Um, considered the second goal. Try to change the game formation, bring in two strikers. It just didn't work. Kingsley Oga was a bit of a The coach just said uh, our boys looked um, a bit confused with the formation. We tried something against Benet, and you tried something else formation, and it failed. How do you feel? Do you feel uh, trying something else, maybe doing the work for If you are around, uh, you try to venture into the game? <laughs> We keep trying, you know, football is about winning, losing or draw. But um, I think we have a good squad, we have a strong squad. But it just didn't happen for us today for whatever reason. But I still very much believe in this team. Um, but characters, you know, against the run of play, like I said, we considered goal and then it was a bit deep late in the game. It was very difficult. Yeah, good evening, Coach. Movies. My name is Movies. Sir, um, what was the what I mean? What was the thought process towards starting Kelechi Hanachov again after the stinker I had against the Republic? We started again and it was still sobbed up before the start of the second half, just like it was in Abidjan against the Republic. I think Kelechi just needed somebody to build in confidence. He's one player that is an asset to Nigeria, but we've given him a lot of opportunities, but he's not living up up to expectation. We can't throw the bad water with the baby away. I think Kelechi needs some encouragement. For the fact that we're playing at home and we're leading the group, I felt, you know, when he comes in, I spoke with him personally, trying to get a goal. He's going to give 45 minutes afterwards to he will come in. But the pressure on Kelechi because of the utterances from our people, I think he can handle it. But I try as much as possible to make him feel comfortable. But didn't work. Aaron. All right, coach, I would like to ask Aaron Akiri Jada from Arise. Yeah. Um, goal scoring has been quite hard for you. Whether it was at the AFCON in Cameroon, the World Cup qualifier against Ghana, and this time around, your team do not score enough goals. And we have the players that know the back of the net. Where are we getting it wrong? There is a disjointment somewhere. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> goals win games. We all know that. The scoring goals in their, in their club size, the scoring goals in training. So when it comes to the game, they don't score goals. We keep asking the same question. The question I'm asking is the same thing I'm asking them. But again, you know, there are some players who can make a difference, who can just put the ball into space for them to go to go. But he's still looking for such player who has that flair, creativity, who is a good playmaker who can probably put the balls into space for them. Who has a question for Ekon? Ah, Ekon. 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 Yes. Good evening, Coach. Um, coach again. Yes. No, no, Ekon. 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 Yes, Ekon. 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 Eskipo, the goal, the first goal you considered tonight was a replica of the goal you considered against the Republic. Does that perhaps concern you defensively? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> it's not completely identical. I think uh, we have to take responsibility. The set piece is now two games, uh, two goals conceded. Um, it's something that we uh, have to work on. I think also whenever you have some, some changes in the team, there's some different roles again. Uh, but I'll take responsibility as much as I think all of the other players, uh, attackers, defenders, everyone, that we need to do better because I think set pieces can be very key to a game. I think today the set piece changed the momentum because I thought before that I don't, I can't remember them having a shot on target or working the goalkeeper. So uh, yeah, we were caught a little bit off guard there uh, and something that we need to improve. And uh, if there's one game where it could happen, then this was the game. And uh, from here on in March and everything else that we got coming next year, there won't be any room for those kind of mistakes.
What is the secret to your consistent performance for the Super League? Yeah. He has been consistent. Today, we want to consistent. Today was not consistent. No, he had been consistent. Sorry. Sorry, it was not good. Not like it was not good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you. I mean, everyone is entitled to their opinion, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not always uh, one straight line. Uh, I wish I could, you know, come sit here with a clean sheet every game, uh, score a goal every game. It's not possible. That's not football. So, uh, yeah, try to do my best. Um, all of us are trying. You know, it's. Uh, I, I still want to look at this as um, positive, as I said in the pre uh, pre match conference. Three months ago, we spoke about qualifying for AFCON and making sure that this was done before we go to the World Cup qualifiers. We did that with two games to spare, and now we're sitting here. Of course, we would have loved to won the game today. I think here we go to close the year off in the right manner, but it wasn't the way. We tried and it didn't work out, um, and that's what I can say about it. About consistency, that's not up to me to say, and like you say, you might think so, but our fine gentleman over here has a different opinion, and uh, that's life. Yes, Victor, then we'll take okay. a look at the end. Um, Coach, good evening. Our next assignment officially is a double hit for the World Cup for the Federal against Rwanda. Would this game and this loss play in the minds of yourself and the players, just assuming you are in this role for the World Cup for the final? No, it won't. It's a lesson, it's a hard lesson we have learned. We have to watch these games, you know, time and time again, and um, evaluate and do our own research and strategies to face them. Right. So the captain, um, Kipo, did you guys by any means underrate the Rwandan team? Um, I mean, never flew out of qualified, but are you guys complacent in any way? I mean, the approach today wasn't really impressive, what you say. Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, it comes down to details, you know, I think today, um, the last final third, we, we maybe struggled to get some shots off in the first half. Second half, you know, they finally came, um, Chukweze unlocked their defence. Uh, and afterwards, I felt we were going to score again. That was my feeling in the game, um, and that's what we were trying to do. We said from the start that we know the last 20 minutes is going to open up, especially because they need to score and they need to win this game. And uh, we didn't underrate them. Uh, we didn't have any less motivation. Sometimes in football, you know, you play a game, you want to win, and it doesn't happen. And I think uh, today was uh, was that that was the case. And I think, like I said before, I don't think Rwanda really was dangerous before this set piece or even the goal they scored again against the run of play so I think you have to look at it from a little bit more bigger angle and um, yeah we missed some things and uh, they had two maybe two chances and scored two goals. Good evening coach, Kingsley Apakwa, media. <coughs> media. Um, came into this international break with 23 players <coughs> leaving with 20 and on top of that there has been a sad news that hit the camp also. Do you think this also contributed to the loss we had this evening? Anyway, yes, but I think every player that's invited among the squad is capable of playing. So people need to get a chance. They got their chance today, but unfortunately, and we fought for it, it wasn't to be. Final question, please. Final okay. question. Good evening, coach. AJ, come for nice back from 1FM. I'm sorry, I see the worry in your face. That's the position you are in. Um, but I'm going to ask this question time and time again. I'm sure you're tired of answering it. Big top one is this. Time and time again, game and game again. It still looks like he's yet to click in with the national team. And you've tried changing positions for him, changing game plans, but he still doesn't hit the position that uh, Simon, you know, has gotten with the fans. So, are you going to call him up again in the next international break if he keeps on hitting the form? He yes, we push. And are we going to, like, what do we do? Pray for him? Or <laughs> yes. Because we need him. We yes. need him to start playing well. Yes. Yeah, maybe, play well. maybe the coach will try him in the goal. Not try him. Not play well. But he's coming from. He's frustrating us. We travel from far. I agree. <laughs> yes. What's, what's, uh, what's your name? Mobis. 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 Okay. I remember. Thank you. He's <laughs> <laughs> actually your friend. I don't mind. Yes, yes. Good. Yes, our bonnie face, we all know, is capable of doing, especially in this club. And then when he comes back here, we try to give him a lot of confidence, a lot of playing time. It's not hitting back.